going to get your hips working. This is how we're going to measure your hips. Um, all right. And this is the reason we just talked about doing your waist. It, the reason it's done up here and your waist is your hips rather are done down here. It's because your everything connects right here. This is where your muscles from your core connect and then your thighs connect. So this is naturally going to be a thinner spot. So you don't, that's why nobody really, there's not a measurement that really goes at your hips. It's all based on your kind of like your butt and your true waist up here uh, by your belly button, which you can see that video before. So like we said, same thing, you get the widest part of your butt. Okay. And that's actually your hips. Just take the measurement around. Ideally, you know, the less clothing, the better. Okay. But I'm not going to um, haunt you with that. Okay. But I got the um, thickest part of my butt in there. That's going right across my hips. I get this uh, measurement. Jot that down in my uh, spreadsheet that I know that you've already either made or created. If not, I have my templates here on my website that you can go to. Just go to lifefitmentality.com, find out some more. Now that you got your hip to waist uh, measurements, you get your ratio and find out what shape you are. Are you an apple pear, avocado? What else do they have? Apple pear, avocado. Those are all of them. All right. Enjoy it. Peace.